Hi guys and welcome to the Open College's Professional Certificate in Digital Photography. We're very excited about this new course that we have launching soon uh, and we hope that it's, uh, it's going to be of interest to a lot of potential uh, students. So in the next um, presentation we're going to be talking about all the information that you need to know as a CCA to be able to advise students about this course. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is we'll go into the rationale behind why we're launching the course. Um, we're also going to talk about the potential uh, target audience, um, so who we think is actually going to be interested in this course and why they want to enroll. Um, and then we'll go into the actual structure of, of the course, the information about what they'll learn and what the requirements are that they need to, to enroll in the course. Um, we'll take a look at how this course compares to other competitors on the market and then we'll finish off with the all important information about price and how much the course costs. So. The reason we're launching this course, um, when we already have uh, another uh, fairly high profile course in photography, uh, in April 2003 we launched the Certificate 4 in Design, which is a specialization in photography. And um, the, I'm sure you're already uh, familiar with this course um, because um, you, know, you counsel students into it every day. So this course is a nationally recognized design qualification rather than a specialist photography qualification and we've added photography uh, electives into the course. Um, and the real positioning of this course is that it's targeted towards what we can say consider serious photographers because it is a qualification in, in design uh, and photography. Um, it also costs quite a bit, it's $6,000 and it goes for two years uh, to complete the course and so it is, it's pretty hefty, there's a lot of units uh, in, involved in the course, um, a lot of it related to the theory of, of design. To, to enroll in the Cert 4 you've got to demonstrate creative ability uh, up front, um, so you've kind of already got to be pretty good at what you're doing um, and there is, uh, we need you to sign up for the Adobe Creative Cloud to be able to enroll um, and throughout the course you learn InDesign um, which is, is really good for serious designers um, but for people who are you know, less serious about the design aspect of photography, it's perhaps not um, as necessary. So we get plenty of leads for this course. Um, we get a lot of people who uh, inquire about it, um, but not a lot of them actually convert into enrollments. Um, and we thought, we wanted to think about why that was. So what we actually did was we went out and we asked those students who inquired about the certificate for, but decided not to enroll. Um, we asked them why they were interested in studying photography with open colleges and they gave um, a number of answers but the vast majority indicated that they were mainly interested in studying photography because they wanted to pursue their creative passion. So they weren't necessarily interested in becoming a professional photographer uh, or starting a business in photography, though those were certainly motivations, but the primary motivation was that they're mainly interested in pursuing their creative passion. and to then sign up for a nationally accredited $6,000 two-year course um, just seemed to be a step too far for a lot of these hobbyists or enthusiastic um, photography um, people. We also asked the same students whether they then went and enrolled at a competitor and 85% of them said no. So that told, says to me that there's a lot of people out there who are interested in photography who are not finding the kind of course that they want online. Uh, so there's a, certainly an opportunity for us to capture this market. We also then asked the stu these people what kind of photography topics they're interested in, and they gave us a lot of different, uh, a lot of different examples, a lot of different things that they were interested in. And so what we went and did was in this new course that we've developed, we, we, we incorporated the topics that they most wanted to see there in the course. And then we also at the end asked them if they'd be interested in our new online course in digital photography and over 90% of these people said yes they would and they wanted us to contact them when the course was ready. So that told me that there certainly was a market for um, an unaccredited course that, that met these, um, these requirements.